Okay, let's now have a look at the third tab, the screw and bolts one, which is uh, screw and bolts library preset uh, for you. Or you just have to one click to import it and quickly add details to your models. Uh, some setting here, you have two modes of uh, placement. Uh, the default one is this one on component mode and a slider to adjust the scale size of uh, the bolts at import. Okay, so let's take a look at the component mode. For example, if I select a vertex here, I just click and it will import my bolt. Um, you have to do uh, one by one because if in fact as I select that works on any component mode, you see here, I click, it will import at the average position of my entire selection. So it's to place uh, precisely uh, one bolt one by one. Okay, and if you want some more uh, freedom placement, you have the interactive placement mode. So with this mode, I advise you to be careful about your mesh. Uh, Sometimes it can't uh, be able to detect your mesh to place on. So what I advise you in the best way is that you put the mesh you want to to have a bolt. Uh, place bolt on it at the root of the outliner. Okay, this way uh, and free transform, of course. This way uh, that will help the tools to work correctly. Now that it's done, I'm on the right mode and I will select a bolt. The first time you will launch, that will compute a bit, so just wait some seconds and your cursor will change into a cross. Now you are and you can just click and drag. You click, you drag, you can move. Uh, you can use shift key to change the size and control key to rotate. But, but once you release the mouse, uh, that will bake and place the screw. You can just one click to place quickly, of course. Okay. Okay, so it's pretty all. Uh, you have different types. So the classic one, so the screw, the bolts. Uh, you have the sci-fi look bolts and some other more specific stuff. And, um, okay, and now let's talk about a question uh, you ask me often is, um, can I import or add, add my own uh, bolts into this library? The answer is no. Why? Because it's a preset library. Everything is made for you, is calibrated, it's pretty complex, in fact, uh, even if that's in simple, because everything should be calibrated and works in the script. If I put um, a user input setting, that would be a lot of stuff, and you have a lot of complex uh, things to, to do, just to add your custom bolts here. Uh, I explain this here. You can click on custom bolts, in fact, if I allow customer to create custom bolts, uh, that will mean uh, the need to set a user folder patch on your computer where we save it, uh, in modit, in project, we don't know. Create also, also a thumbnail based on which renderer, it's complicated. Uh, you have to place the pivot placement, you have the scale calibration, uh, and also that means that you can put any type of mesh inside this. Uh, other things and bolt and screw. And at this time, that means that will become uh, really an asset manager, uh, which is 
pretty much more than what Modit is only dedicated for. And it's why I create a script which called uh, asset it, which is a, a true real uh, asset manager uh, in which you can create and import your own uh, asset mesh. So if you need more control on both or screw uh, placement and you want to create your own, I really invite you to uh, look at uh, this script you will have uh, what you want. You will also have a lot more control on placement. You will have the interactive, but also the replace and some more tool. Uh, so if you really need the feature, uh, I invite you to go to asset it. Okay, so for now, it's uh, the end of uh, the modded tutorial presentation. I really hope you will like the script and all this tool. Uh, of course, if you can things to put a rating on the Gumroad page of the project, uh, that would be great. And here you have the link to the Discord to give feedback or if you have any idea for future update, uh, feel free to post it into the modded channel on the Discord. Thank you.